Did you know that your pee can be used to make fertilizer? Yes, fertilizer made with urine that's used on farms to grow all sorts of things like your vegetables. What normally is considered human waste is actually considered liquid gold, but it gets flushed down the toilet into sewers that cause nutrient pollutions that can cost municipalities billions to fix and can harm our freshwater and marine life. One company is collecting urine from residents in one U.S. state and making fertilizer. What? How? Doesn't it smell? We'll answer all your questions because that's what we're checking out in this week's episode. How does urine contribute to the climate crisis? How is fertilizer made? And how does this process help our community and environment? But most importantly, we'll talk to the group that's upcycling all of this into this. Abe Noe Hayes. He's pea cycling human urine and turning it into fertilizers that's used in farms to grow food and crops. We should be doing this everywhere, reusing urine, because it's a great resource. We're currently dumping it into the sewer and then spending a lot of energy and money trying to filter those nutrients back out so they don't turn into pollution. We should be capturing that and using that fertilizer where it's useful on farms. So how exactly does urine turn into fertilizer? Let's take a look. To begin the process, the company has urine diverting toilets which are imported from Europe and have a drain for urine in the front and the back flushes into regular wastewater plumbing. The urine goes through a separate drain into a tank. When the tank is about full, the company comes to the homes with a pumper truck. The truck uses a vacuum pump and hose to pump all the urine from tank to truck. If people don't want to install a whole new toilet system, Rich Earth Institute also provides 5-gallon urinals to participants to collect urine into a jug and bring the full containers to the urine depot. Once the truck is filled with a full tank, it is brought back to the company's central location. The urine is then pasteurized at 176 degrees Fahrenheit for a minimum of 80 seconds, which is required by EPA regulations, and that destroys any pathogens that might be in the urine from any fecal material that may have crossed over. The clean pea gets stored on site in large tanks, and during growing season, the pasteurized urine is brought to the farms where a 500-gallon applicator tank is filled with urine and then pulled by tractor across the field. The applicator has perforations allowing the urine to flow out of the tank like a giant sprinkler. It takes 1,000 gallons of urine to fertilize an acre. Human waste is rich in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which makes it really beneficial for growing crops. The farmers who use this fertilizer are able to grow vegetables, hay, figs, sweet corn, hemp, and more. The farm, the farmer drives it around with the tractor, spreads it on their hay fields, and then, um, and then we fill it up again and, uh, and do that as many times as we need to to cover their field. Now get this. The urine that one person produces annually contains enough fertilizer to grow nearly a whole year supply of food. You may be asking, is this even safe? Could I use pea in my own home garden? We pasteurize it before we bring it to the farmers. But people who use it in their own homes or own gardens often don't pasteurize it. And the World Health Organization has guidelines that are based on research, based on science. And those say that if you want to use it on your own garden, you don't have to treat it at all. But you should wash your hands after you apply the urine. And then you should wait 30 days after you apply that urine before you eat any raw crops that you might be harvesting. It all began in 2012 when Abe and his partner Kim Nace founded the Rich Earth Institute, a nonprofit research and demonstration organization in Brattleboro, Vermont, with a mission to take products that we think of as waste and develop methods to turn them into fertilizer. When thinking about plant fertilizer, the first thing that might come to mind is manure, poo. But during his research, Abe discovered that it's actually urine that holds the food plants crave. Pea contains 80% of nitrogen and two-thirds of the phosphorus found in human waste. And it's a lot easier to capture as well as cleaner and safer to handle than the other stuff. He grew frustrated with composting toilets and how legally urine couldn't be reused as fertilizer. See, people in Vermont informally use urine and compost from composting toilets as fertilizer under the radar, but there's no way to legally use either in an organized and public way. So Abe and his team founded the Rich Earth Institute and began doing research about the value that urine has as fertilizer with field trials. And a big part of that is the, uh, is the safety, the environmental safety and the human safety. So understanding how to manage that is actually not hard to do, but, but we've, been, um, we've been documenting that and we have guides for how to do that. Abe says that this fertilizer can naturally be recycled over and over again. That's the beauty of it, because you apply the fertilizer, the nutrients in it go into plants, the plants grow, and then we can eat those plants. So then the nutrients become part of us, and then they pass through our bodies, the nutrients come out mostly in our urine, 
And so if that urine gets saved again and, and turned back into fertilizer, those nutrients can keep going around and around. And that's how natural ecosystems work. But there are times that you shouldn't use your own urine in your garden. If you're taking medication, undergoing hormone treatment, or experiencing a urinary tract infection, these can cause micropollutants in your urine, which can impact plants' health and the microbial activity in the soil. Why is upcycling urine important to Abe? By just flushing urine down the toilet, the fertilizing potential that's in urine ends up in rivers, lakes, and bays, which can lead algae to grow out of control in what are called blooms. Algae blooms can be destructive to the aquatic ecosystem by sucking up all the oxygen in the water, killing fish and other marine life, and even making the water and fish unfit for human consumption. Urine diversion can reduce the amount of sewer corrosion and greenhouse gas emissions by reducing the carbon footprint of treatment plants. Flushing or pee also uses a lot of water. According to the EPA, an average household uses 30% of their daily water consumption to flush toilets, adding up to 1.2 trillion gallons flushed each year. To be part of the solution, the Virtue Earth Institute hopes to collect and recycle as much urine as it can this year. The organization collects about 11,000 gallons of urine a year. Want to do your part in helping the Virtue Earth Institute? Abe says that although they only operate in the state of Vermont, they are assisting people in other states to reuse urine for fertilizer. If you want to spearhead something and you need support in how to actually transport the urine, understanding how to work on the permitting or how to talk to farmers, any of those things, we're, we're here to help people do that. And if you can't make a urine donation, Abe says you can always make a donation to the organization. So what do you think? Have you ever wondered what happens to your pee? What do you put urine in your own garden? And what other solutions to these issues have you seen? Let us know in the comments below.